Parking tickets and red light cameras all generate big money for the city, about $345 million in 2017 alone. But relief may be on the way for some drivers. Charlie DeMar is in our control room to explain who could potentially benefit. Charlie. Brad, good evening. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says this is overdue, but for those who have long battled the city's ticketing and fine processes, well, they remain skeptical. One, two, three, those five booted cars all belong to Joe Nathaniel, who we met in November. It would be great if they just eliminated everybody's debt, but that's just not realistic. He's previously filed for bankruptcy and still working to pay the city back for ticket fines. Ticket debt piles up disproportionately in the city's African-American neighborhoods. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says the city will try a new approach at collecting fines and fees, a move aimed at easing the financial burden on low-income Chicagoans. We actually think that ultimately it'll be net neutral, uh, meaning that we will not lose re revenue. City sticker penalties will be reduced. The plan eliminates same-day or consecutive-day tickets for city sticker violations. Late fees now capped at $250 rather than doubling. Man, I had like thousands of dollars worth of tickets. Driver's licenses will no longer be suspended for non-moving driving violations. It's obviously a step in the right direction, but it's a very small step in the right direction because this is a very serious problem that's been hurting a lot of people for a very long time. Attorney J.C. Zolna is suing the city as he's done in the past for what he calls excessive and illegal ticketing practices. And for a lot of people, that cripples their life. They, they, they can't pay the ticket, the fines double, um, the city starts, you know, threatening to take away their cars. Quite frankly, these actions are long overdue. Now, Mayor Lightfoot will introduce this plan tomorrow at City Council. It also calls for a six-month payment plan to allow people to pay back their ticket debts. Live in the control room, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.